Alright, hopefully that'll get better. So, looks like we'll be restoring this game here shortly. Do they they actually did remove the spectator delay, huh? Yeah, they trust each other. Cool. Oh, that's better for us. And it looks like they've already... Okay, they have already started. Oh, and... Colors here. So it's Viper here with the... Good number of skirmishers plus his scouts. Heading to the north here by Jordan's base, running to this wall. Let's see where he tries to go. Um, we see that Viper got the uh, bot lines. He's getting fletching as well. His army should be much stronger than Jordan's. Those bloodline scouts. Uh, Jordan just, just with thing. three spearmen and only four or five archers, maybe a few more skirmishers, but but with all those scouts out in front for Viper. Oh, and he's running right into it, the Jordan's army, who's kind of standing on this hill and maybe in a better position. Now he, he's kind of got these uh, skirmishers out by himself, and he can actually do some damage here as long as he's careful with uh, to avoid getting flanked by these scouts in the north, which he's just going to retreat to the to the hill. Both players kind of not wanting to run into that engagement. Oh, why are trying to be sneaky? Oh, you know, he's sending his scouts all the way, and I think, yeah, Jordan can see it. So he's not going to run around him. And Jordan is uh, getting too much just to see where those scouts are. Oh, but look at that. Look at Jordan's wound. Oh no, now he's going to come in right onto that wood. He's going to get all these scouts right in on those wood cutters. And now it's just kind of bad for Jordan. He's going to have to run them back into the town center to try to save them. And Viper's going to back away with the skirmishers void, kind of committing them too much. He knows he can escape with those scouts. And right as those spearmen come in, he immediately dashes out to the left, avoiding any damage. He's actually kind of trapped his uh, skirmishers in, but I think he's actually got about the same number as as Jordan over there. Meanwhile, over on the gold, he's he's gotten those scouts running away from those spearmen. He takes out two villagers. He does lose one scout in the process. Uh, and no, actually, yeah, Viper is winning that battle over on the right side. He got the same number of upgrades as as Jordan. And wow, Viper's playing this playing really well here. Um, yeah, his army is just much more mobile. There are some archers that are trying to come in here for Jordan, but they're the yeah, same fail. number. Yeah, not not going well for him over there. And and now he's finally going to be able to deal with these these skirmishers just the north of his wood camp. Well, maybe not, because here come the scouts oh. taking out that spearmint man. And Jordan's got all these idle woodcutters. Yeah, they are idle forever. And he was going to lose there so many low HP woodcutters. Looks like he may finally chase out these scouts. He's had to back away his archers that were trying to get some damage on Viper going forward. And Castle Age for both players. Actually, very, very similar timing. Uh, 58 pop here for Viper. 58 actually for Jordan as well. Kind of surprised that the army's that similar, but it looks like it almost looks like... Did Viper just like stop? Okay, he's got all these archers over here to the right. I didn't see. Well, World Viper should have a better economy because his economy is untouched all game while Jordan's is chasing or running away his villagers. Yeah, for sure. And he will take out one gold villager. He does, losing that scout, but he did take out the food. I mean, the the total here has been what? How many how many villagers has, has Jordan lost? It's It's been about 10 or so, maybe oh. more. Oh, I would say less. Less? Uh, the, the difference is uh, Viper has three villagers more. Really? At this moment. Oh, look at uh, Jordan. Is Jordan can do some damage. Ooh, there. trying to get this wall up, and he loses that one villager. But he's got to he's got to garrison all these farmers. Uh, does Viper here? He's the first up to Castle Age, but Jordan's going to be not far behind him, and he'll there he is also be able to get that uh, expo upgrade. Does he have the resources for everything? Yes, he does. Bodkin and crossbows. Crossbowman upgrade being researched. 
Oh, he needs to be careful, though, as Viper tries to come from the north on top of this hill, coming down at him with his own archers, who get the expo upgrade first, and now, okay, well, now Jordan's got it too, but he's outnumbered, and he's going to lose two expos in the process as he tries to run away. Now he's just outnumbered. He's, he's kind of trapped in the back of, of Viper's base. Uh, taking out one expo there. Cav archers starting to come out for Viper, and, and Jordan, I would assume, as well. A siege workshop coming up for, for Jordan as he's got his expos trapped. He's trying to run to the left. He's, they're just... Not going super well for him. Some cav archers coming from the left side to cut him off here. Yeah, it seems like uh, Jordan is going for one TC. Well, let's take a look at Viper. What what's he doing? Is that he is there's there's his uh, second TC. He's building to the north of his archery range just by that forest. When we see that uh, Jordan doesn't have a stable, so he cannot make bloodlines for his collatures. Oh, indeed, and obviously Viper's already got that bloodlines upgrade. Here come some cav archers in for Jordan over here on the right side of Viper's base, and maybe could uh, deny this town center. No, he's, he, Viper's got too much army coming over there. He may take out a few units, but uh, he's going to have to back away. Mangonel is out for Jordan. Looks like he's gonna try to push, and um, he may just not have a choice here. He's, he's, he's yeah, he knows he he's behind. But, um, if he can take the control of that hill and take out uh, Viper's military buildings, he has a chance. Here comes Viper with a lot of those cav archers trying to engage against these expos and this Mangonel. He takes out a couple of units of Jordan as he's trying to. Uh, Weave his way in and take out that Mangano, but here's that second Mangano coming in. So maybe this will turn the tide for for Jordan. And uh, one Mangano is down, and he uh, Viper looks like he's just avoiding these shots so well. Look at the way, just at the last second, he dodges out of the way. Ooh, not of that one though, because you can see Jordan switch targets at the last second. But it's it's taken care of. Biz, uh, business is taken care of there for for Viper. Yeah, it was a very good fight for the Viper. And now Jordan is in pretty impossible spot. Yeah, now looking good for Jordan here. He tried to get some damage in on, on the woodcutters over to the right side of Viper's base, but it's it's not going to happen for him. He, he has actually made that second town center now. But that all that wood can be raided. Yeah, he's, he's down 20 pop and he's about to get these expos up. Uh, to the north of his base, and he's kind of losing the central part here too. He's out. He's outnumbered everywhere. Uh, his wood call, uh, jackers are just in one spot. Tall clan. Um, it's just not good for the Jordan at this moment. Uh, you've got all these cavalry just camping on top of this hill by the siege workshop here, and. Now Viper's going to come in, He's oh, he can take a lot of cav archers out here, he does take out two of them, now he can move in onto these villages, this is bad. Uh, seems like uh, Viper has a uh, thumb ring. Oh, he, he needs to be doesn't careful have ballistics though. Yet. Oh, he... Yeah, that's a good Oh shot. my god, he lost like almost all of his expos there, just to that one mangonel. It Probably won't matter, but it's still pretty crazy to see all of them die like that. He's still got so many cav archers to the south, though. Uh, but as you mentioned, I mean, there's just no real wood for Jordan. He's still only chopping wood from this one area. One exposed area. Oh, he is. I see. Yep, yep. To the left of this gold mine. Does Viper have a third TC? Yeah, here's already got his third TC up. 88 pop for him. 73 for Jordan. Well... He is now getting that stable. Two oh, Jordan, should get, Jordan should get the last the defense upgrade. He has resources for it. Viper actually doesn't have it either. Nice. Viper's economy is just uh, better because it's been safe all game. Oh, it looks like Viper's actually got a couple of skirmishers here. Did he make those? I feel like they can't have been just left over. Yeah, they are just from the feudal age, I think. No, he just made those, and he's uploading to Elite. Oh. Well, I guess what Viper knows that he's so far in economy that he only wait for the Jordan to come back if he goes like full army and pushes him back, so Elite skirmishers are the best way to not allow your opponent to push you. 
Well, for... You just, when you have a, like, a good economy advantage, you just want to be safe. Jordan, trying to get these two Maganos out in front to help deal with what he's got going on here. Jordan also doesn't have a uh, university, so no ballistics from him, I'm pretty sure. It looked like Viper had, had ballistics researched, based on how those arrows yep. were firing. Another archery range coming up on top of this hill here for Viper. He's playing it, playing it kind of safe here. Just uh, pretty confident, I think, that he's got the better economy that he'll uh, doesn't need to take too many risks. Yeah, you just Viper is a player who just will, when he will have that kind of advantage, he will just play safe. He's not gonna push in the castle edge with the rams. Gonna get his five cav archers caught out here. But you can see the score differential. It's it's about almost, approaching a thousand points. I know score certainly isn't everything, but it's it, I mean, it, it's something at least. Uh, he's making this town center up to the north uh, or the, the hill here, and oh, Jordan takes out that Maganel as they now may have a big engagement here. It looks like there's more cab archers for for Jordan, and, and Viper's actually the one who's going to back away here. He does have some skirmishers here, but he's he's kind of concerned perhaps about these Maganels. and. <laughs> Oh, they're gonna gauge right between that archer range and the town center that's trying to be built. And Jordan's actually like winning this, and he and he's he's gonna be able to kill a good number of villagers as as Viper is spending most of his time trying to dodge these Maganel shots. He has now killed the second Maganel, and well now now there's so many more units coming in for Viper, so I think he may be okay. Uh, one Maganel coming to the south for Viper as well, and he has killed. Uh, there's actually almost all the Maganels now for Jordan. Yeah, he's he's looking like he's gonna slowly beat this back. Cab yeah, archers dying. Uh, bad uh, micro from the Viper. Just losing two mangonels for nothing and letting Jordan's two survive in the start of the fight. Uh, but he's taking control of the situation now. As he brings in some more villagers to finish that town center. And you can see Jordan doesn't have much in terms of army left. I mean, Viper doesn't either, but Jordan's Viper is. Time. Yeah, he is as well. He doesn't. He doesn't have the elite skirm upgrade yet. Is, is he researching him? Probably is. Jordan needs to relocate his woodcutters. They are just cutting like the five, ten. Oh woods. man, there's not even a standing tree over there on that forest anymore. It seems pretty hard from the Jordan. He does take out that mega now. Point. But he's at such a economic disadvantage here. You can see the numbers just, just in Viper's favor. He's got way more of everything, Cav Archers and Skirmishers. Not that they either have a ton, but it's it's slowly been a losing ground battle here for, for Jordan, who's getting some unfortunate... Oh, and... He's actually, he's done pretty well. I think he's done better with his Maganels, but it, it's, it just doesn't matter. Uh, look at the numbers here. All these skirmishers coming forward now for, for Viper. Score differential, about 1,500 points now. Light Cav out to, to try to help run down those Maganels. Oh, look at all those elite skirmishers die for Viper, but... Viper just needs to add rams now. Yeah, he's doing right now. Uh, he can just run the buildings so, you now. It's about a 40 pop advantage. Viper is got all these production buildings up on that hill in between the two players. And it's just Jordan has only so one much. gold left, which is running out about. Because his third gold is actually in Viper's base now. Indeed. Viper is the one that's going to take control of that gold. And. Alright, that's it. Jordan calls GG, and Viper will take game one here. But Viper yeah, really Viper. in control like the whole game, wasn't he? Yeah, and Viper definitely had the worst man. He just you know, wasn't the player who was aggressive, and when you are aggressive, your map doesn't matter. Well, it's not like it doesn't matter, but even when it's bad, your will just can be safe if you are the one who is aggressive all the time. 
Well, the first game of this best of 21 series is going to go to Viper. We'll move on to game two, oh. which is going to be home map of Jordan. I wonder what is Jordan's home map. Yeah, I didn't see them caught. Oh, and they seem to be in a bit of a rush here. <laughs> I mean, there's no, there's no point in just sitting there when there's no spectator in the lane. Just yeah, just start the next game. Well, they may not need a break, but I need uh, 30 seconds here. I will be right back. Yes. All right. Guess they Maya versus Huns Desert. Looks like yeah, the I, choice was. No, I would say Jordan picked the uh, Mayans. Um, well. And I think that's what is something similar to the planes. Is Great it Arabia uh, only? Is it that? I thought it was the. Uh, I want to say it was the uh, Gold Rush map, isn't it? Well, I don't think so. I think it's the map where there is no wood, but I can be wrong. Uh, the you mean what Atacama you talking about? I'm not sure what I'm talking about. I'm not sure. <laughs> the well, I guess we'll see, because uh, it looks like we're launching already. And oh yeah, it's gold rush. Yeah, it's like a more spread oh. out gold rush though. You can see the gold in the middle is is everywhere, not just like clumped in one spot like a regular gold rush. Oh, and wipers millions and Jordan's hands. I was thinking the other way around. They would pick civilizations. Oh, I forgot to. There you go. Update the score. There we go. So one nothing. Viper taking the first game. We're moving on to game two now. This is the home map of Jordan, who has picked desert and Mayans. <laughs> or no, sorry, I take that back. He's Huns versus Viper as the Mayans here. But look at the uh, Wiper's resources. He he is so open on the right side, and his gold is you you cannot find more open gold than Wiper's. Uh, he's just got flat area around his pretty much his entire base. And pretty pretty similar to Jordan's map, also. I mean, I can't say I've I've seen a lot of this map generated. Uh, it may be. I mean. Maybe all of the maps are like this, because you've kind of got that open area in between your base and like the middle desert-ish area. I, I, I just don't know. But maybe why Jordan would have went and opted for, for a map like this. I don't know, can you, can you remember this map being played uh, recently? I guess COT it was an option as a home map, I want to say. Yeah, I, and I think it's in the COT map pack. It, it... Could be uh, as random map, but I don't remember two players in the Clash of Titans actually playing it. But uh, the map is much more important for the uh, main player than it is for the Hans player. So with such because... an open map, what's what's his uh, options here for for Viper as the Maya? Probably tower his gold. 
Uh, they go take stone from the back. Maybe go for the archers in start and when you have 650 stone in castle, you put a cast as soon as possible. It, you have to try to survive um, with the mains in the feudal age and in early castle age because the hunts has advantage there. Oh, main should, main player is the player who should be pushing, I think, in the Jordan spot, especially with this map. When the Viper has all his gold, his main gold is so open. Is he he should be just applying pressure. Jordan should just be aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> because he's Hans. And in the. He messed up on this board lane, over here. And he took him a while to realize. He has to run his villager all the way back out here now. Oh, I need pay attention. But I see Viper is rushing. He's actually going for the one more roll. I don't know if he just didn't notice. Yeah, it seems like he didn't notice. Uh, he's gonna move over and make that barracks now. Jordan sending a scout over there now, and he very well may see this barracks. Yes, he does just see that barracks. So. Uh, no, he, no, he sees the gold as well. I think he should know that there's only one gold pile for the player next to his base. Yeah, but again, this is the whole map of Jordan. You, you have to think, he, he knew what he was doing when he picked this map. He only had two home maps, potentially, to prepare for for this series. So you, you gotta think that, that Jordan is the one that knows everything about this map. Not that Viper doesn't. He may, but... Again, it's not, not a map that, that we've seen that much. And Barrack's actually also up for, for Jordan here. So it looks like both would be doing a drush here. It will be interesting to see what Viper is going for the fast castle. He will go for the feudal fight. Looks like he's going for the feudal. His three I mean. militia are out now, heading across the map. And actually, uh, Jordan again did the fake, like rushing. Interesting. He just made the barracks so Jordan, uh, Viper would think that he's rushing. It looks like he and he didn't even bother to make a militia this time. Uh, did he? I don't. I don't see one. No, he didn't. Twenty-four popping up for for Jordan. Viper still not up yet, but he's at 29 pop here. Well, he's also obviously got those three militia. Four villagers to gold here for Jordan, who's got... Well, now that he's finishing this wall here, he'll he'll be safe. And now he's actually making... He queued up two militia here in that barracks, now that he sees the Jurash coming. I, I, he's trying to quickly finish this wall. Is he going to finish it in time? Yeah, he is. Yeah, he will. Uh, I wonder if we will see a uh, man at arms tower. Yeah, actually, yeah. Gordon right now is moving the villagers. Oh, that, that's, the interesting. that's the strategy which uh, Ervac, RVK, Stark lo loves to do. He just makes man at arms and then towers enemy's base and then towers his own base and stone walls. Very annoying strategy. And well. this. When the, Jordan is doing this because he knows that it's the only Viper's goal. And pretty much since he is fake rushing and he knows Viper is rushing, uh, Viper's uh, feudal age will be much slower. He can just easily put the tower and Vogue Viper cannot do anything about that. Well, he's starting with just uh, archer range here. He does have the man at arm upgrade. But his stone's uh, outside of his base though. Yeah, but all he needs is one, uh, one tower for now, and Viper is off the goal. And I think it was a mistake from the Viper going so late uh, feudal age, knowing his only gold is so exposed. And your opponent is Hans, who should be pushing you. It's gonna be about a 13 minute castle, or sorry, feudal age here. Just before 30 minutes, Viper is now up, he needs to, I don't know, 
Well, he's backing away with his gold villagers. And again, that... Well, unless he, like, sneaks around somewhere and gets to the middle, that, that's the only gold he can mine at the moment. He sent his militia back. Although they're not quite here yet. He certainly doesn't have he, the resources to FC. Yeah, he has only wood for one uh, archer range at the moment. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, and he just gets in that scout before he can get that wall, and now he's sending in those three men at arms, and oh no. Plus that archer, he's sending villagers in too, is uh, Jordan, but I don't, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have the stone. Like he's denying the blacksmith from going on. Four men at arms now coming in for Viper, and uh, Jordan's gonna have to back away. But he's certainly in a pretty nice spot here. You gotta like what he's been able to do. Oh, look at that. It's open. Uh, and Jordan's attacking the Pulse, but it's actually open. Between the blacksmith and the Pulse, he's attacking. Yeah. Well, Viper's there rewalling behind it and getting a tower up, so Zedra's gonna have to back away, unfortunately. Um, back at home, he's getting a blacksmith of his own. Two archery rangers up in the middle of the map. Second archery range going up for Viper. Just by his town center, but again, can't mine the gold here for Viper. This is tough for him. Uh, what, what do you do here if you're Viper? He's getting wheelbarrow. You just mass lots of skirmishers and try to clear out the other gold pile on the right side. He will probably try to put the tower on the right side goal. I'm surprised that Jordan is only going archers because if you go only archers it's so easy to counter you with the skirmishers. Maybe he will add stable. Actually I think that Jordan best choice for Jordan right now would be adding stable and not think about going castle age and staying uh, feudal. Well for the moment it's just it's skirmishers for Viper, archers for Jordan. Oh, uh, Viper is putting tower on his own goal. He'll try to be take the goal. Mm, so. There may be a little bit of engagement here with all these archers. He's going to be able to take out these men at arms, but he needs to be careful to avoid too much damage from these skirmishers as he chases it down with his original scout. And. Well, both players losing their men at arms here as, as Viper backs away to the north towards his tower, which is now attacking the oh. tower on that gold for Jordan. And we see one forward villager, I think, that we will see is uh, another tower on the. On his goal, only now a little bit down and right side. So I still cannot take the uh, gold even when his tower will go down. Switching to some skirmishers now is is Jordan here. Still no stable. 54 pop for him getting wheelbarrow. Uh, 46 pop here for Viper running by those archery ranges. And actually, Jordan oh. just goes to repair. Yeah, he'll... Oh, but he's not, and it's too close, and he's getting attacked by the yeah. tower, and he has to back away. He should have used the bug, so he you can uh, <laughs> repair from the, yeah. from the distance. Well, it perhaps would have still died to the skirmishers, but for the moment, looks like that tower is gonna go down. Oh, he will use the bug. <laughs> Oh, now he's doing it. Oh, I think he messed it up. Oh, you need one more. Oh, yeah, it's... Too, was that too far? Yeah, the palisade must uh, touch the tower. But yeah, he's making the second tower where... Yeah, you can see he's moved on to stone now, so he can't afford that second tower. But Viper's been on stone forever, since so that's one of the few things he's been able to mine. He's just immediately making up uh, the second tower. Further down that gold what? mine. Full, both armor and fletching for Viper, and he's going to be chasing away Jordan here. Wow. And he's yeah, making even a third great. tower. Because uh, he... Viper is so far from upping right Oof. now. Yeah, Jordan just clicking up now to Castle Age, and you can see 
not just the goal. I mean, obviously he's had no gold, has Viper, but he's, he's still only got like three food because he's had to invest so heavily into skirmishers and such. And he also had he had five villagers in that that tower for quite a while to to try to take back his gold. Uh, but he's trying to come forward now, trying to maybe do some damage on to Jordan, knowing that he is going to be behind economically here. Uh, but you can see the walls are up. It'd be tough for him. Yeah, Viper will not be able to do any damage. Only there is a hole, either hole in the upper lumber camp. There may be, but the tower is up and I don't think Viper is going to try to run in. Uh, we can see that uh, Jordan seeing that uh, Viper is going full skirm skirmishers is changing to the knights. I think uh, Jordan just researched the horse armor, so I'm, yeah. I would assume he's going knights. Yeah, he's making a stable in the middle of the map. I kind of like that. He's 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 kind of hiding it away from Viper. But but only thing it it'll, it'll be really hard for his knights to do any uh, damage on economy because uh, Viper will be closed in one second. Castle Age now finished. So, so what do you think? Do you think uh, Jordan should just focus on eco here instead? Then he should just push. He should uh, make the siege workshop over. And try to push off his only goal. That's what I would do at least. Two stables up here for Jordan. Uh, the skirmishers for Viper. It looks like they may be heading back. Crossbow upgrade complete also for, for Jordan. And. He's actually just moving to the middle to, to mine some gold here. Not making the siege workshop. Uh, I think he's waiting for 200 wood. Mm hmm. True. Okay, there it is. Yep, yep. Oh no, is he gonna catch all these skirmishers out yeah. here? He's sending his yeah, knights right at them and they're so helpless. That was a mistake from the wife. These skirmishers are just absolutely useless against these knights. Look how quickly they die. Just, just three of them here, wiping out that skirmisher army of Viper, who is just about to hit Castle Age himself. Only Viper will be able to put the cast on his gold. Oh, it's a... Uh, ah, uh, there it is. I don't know why it's, why it's so much back. It's too far away. Mm. He does have towers too. Uh, that cast is too far away from his gold. I think he can... Uh, if Jordan takes out the, these towers, he can just make a new tower and again Viper will be off his gold. Second town center in a siege workshop also going up in the back of the base for Viper here. Mangano is out and... Well... He's going for the tower first. This tower right in front. This is the only tower that can hit it. He can easily repair it and he'll be okay. Of course that castle will get up, but as you mentioned, it's... it's pretty far back there. Not necessarily going to provide coverage for that gold mine. Meanwhile, back at home for Jordan, he is now making his second town center. And... Well... Mm, where he is? He's Why got... did he back off in Nagano? Yeah, I'm not sure either. He's got 12 knights and they're like trying to break in over here on the left side. Too, that goes from he's, he's trying to avoid the castle fire. There's Starting to get some plumes out here for Viper. You can see he's got two armor upgrades plus the bloodlines, uh, does Jordan. I'm not sure why he backed off the manga now. Yeah, I'm not too sure either. I mean, that house is at 15 hit points. I mean, I know it doesn't matter, but it's like... It's like an anal thing for me. It's 15 hit points, man. Just kill it. Uh, meanwhile... Third town center going up to the south of his original town center for Jordan. Alright, Jordan should add a monster to heal those uh, knights. Well, pretty much Jordan was, uh, is trying to do is just control the middle. All the middle goals. And Viper is going for raiding now. Well, Viper Here. making the second castle. And it's, it's, it's Look against at sort of but, covering. But the, yeah. yeah. We we'll look at uh, Jordan's prediction on those. <laughs> He's gonna run right into those knights. Wow. 
And now Viper's gonna have to back away. He can't fight these knights with with that few number of uh, plumed archers. But he is gonna get the second castle up. So at least you potentially secure a second gold here. It's a bit far from that gold, but well, we'll see. He's also getting uh, Viper's getting a third town center up to the very north of his base on top of that hill at the edge of the map. Well. A lot of knights for for Jordan. No, but he's not using them uh, for anything. Uh, oh, he's about to get hit by this. Okay, he just moves his archers away from that mangonel. And yeah, yeah, I mean, well, 81 pop for Viper, 95 for for Jordan. He is got a m couple of monks coming out now. Oh, Jordan trying to take control of the goal. Well, and this is sloppy. tough. All those villagers are going to die, and then there's those plumes are going to back away to that castle. Well, actually, he escapes with one villager. Um, but it, Viper doing a good job to deny that watchtower from going up. And, and Viper's slowly crawling his way back into this game, taking control of a couple of golds. He's secured, basically secured his main goal now. And he's got this second one here. I mean, there's a lot of golds all through the middle of the map. And oh, oh, he's making plummets instead of knights. Mm. So that's an advantage for him uh, too. He's... Well, oh, he's... and we can see that uh, Viper is adding another barracks, so he's probably expecting that Jordan will make rams and try to push him with knights and rams. So he will make some pikemans. And Viper's kind of trying to flank here, trying to catch Viper or Jordan by surprise. He takes out a couple of those crossbows and now he backs away, avoiding those mangonel shots, getting some hits in on these knights that are in pursuit. Will he go towards oh, the yeah. economy now? I don't know. Jordan should make a husbandry to chase those. Mm. The okay. town center in the middle is going to get up here for, for Jordan. Immediately, Garrison's got some extra hits on those plumes, but... Oh no, he's getting these monks in the middle and trying to convert what he can, but he may just end up losing all three of them, and I don't think he got even a single conversion off there. But he has maybe really trapped in those plumes. Look at all the knights right in the middle of them. I think they've taken out a good number of those plumes. Uh, the number, he maybe uh, lost like seven or eight now plumes. Maybe more. What will Jordan right now do is he's getting stone for the castle. He will put that castle uh, on the right side of the map where Viper is taking his second goal. So he will deny the gold and will be able to trap the castle. And we can see that Jordan's already castling. I mean, going to Imperial and Jordan. And Viper's nowhere. Viper's not close. even near. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 200 food. Viper is. Wow. Viper is expecting, yeah, yeah, because he's expecting castle age push from the Jordan. And here is that castle oh. that we talked about. Yeah, but it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of safe because much better would be putting closer. Uh, to cover where the trebs will be sitting. But maybe he's and worried if he puts it too far forward that uh, Viper could deny it. Yeah, it's risky it. going too far forward. And actually, Viper's making a, another castle just to the south of that second gold mine of his. Imperial Age is just about to finish here for Jordan. Oh, and now uh, Viper's going to come down and see that castle up and back away immediately. Imperial Age now finished for Jordan. He's gonna, as mentioned, probably start queuing up some trebs. Yeah, he's got a treb queued up immediately. 135 pop for him. 143 for Viper. But he's got a lot of maybe uh, cheaper units contributing to that population number. As he heads over towards the middle map by these archery ranges with uh, the pikemen leading in front of these plumes. Where's, uh, I'm not sure where Jordan's going with his knights. Mm, maybe Jordan should add some um, elite skirmishers to his army. 
And it's unclear. Maybe he's just trying to keep his knights alive until he got a few more upgrades. But he's gonna he's gonna lose this mega. He he could even lose this treb if he's not careful. He's got nothing here to really uh, punish Viper yeah. from just running in and doing this, just taking out this treb for for nothing really. Now he's coming back with the yeah, knights, but they're too late. Viper just tries to buy time so he, can, he don't lose the castle. And even so, he's losing army, it's worth it. Let's see, Imperial Age has been researched for Viper. Oh, Cavalier upgrade now finished, but uh, not doesn't look like he's got as many as he did uh, earlier, does, does Jordan. And now he is, as you mentioned, uh, switching to some, some skirmishers to try to help his cause here. Second trip is out, although it's not unpacked and attacking that castle just yet. Hundred fifty four pop for Viper, hundred forty nine for Jordan, who is going more for Cav Archers here, it looks like. Mm, Cav Archers is I don't know, it's not the best choice against a uh, main player. Especially the plummets points are so great against the Cavalier Archers. In uh, Jordan's spot I would definitely go for Cavaliers and Elite Skirmishers. I think it's a better choice apart from Well, looks like Viper is gonna lose one castle, and the problem for the Viper is uh, that he has only access now for uh, for two golds. Yeah, he's not even repairing anymore. He's gonna let it go down. He's got five rams out, in addition to his kind of group of uh, pikemen plus plumes, which are now elite plumes in the back waiting to uh, do what they can. Jordan... not really in a rush to go anywhere, it looks like. He's, he's, uh, he's, he looks like he's switching to uh, Light Cap, which I assume will be Hussars here shortly. Although they're lacking quite a few upgrades at the moment. Uh, he's making heavy collapses as well. Uh, so it looks like Jordan may just wait for his upgrades to kick in before he starts to go anywhere. Although the Viper's getting upgrades of his own in the process. He's, he's got capped RAM here. Uh, Bracer and oh, some other upgrades. Oh, how about here? Other Imperial upgrades for him. He's got a second yeah. castle up though, does Jordan. And we can see that uh, Jordan is on the right side and just patrolling with two wagon balls uh, to be sure that Viper is not sneaking anywhere. Yeah, that's smart. He wants, Doesn't want Viper he to wants, try to raid. Yeah. <laughs> it's like both players are just sitting here. Going to 200 pop before they start engaging. Who's got the better army composition here, do you think? Oh. If Viper attacks, I think. Uh, the one who is defensive right now. Mm. It's so hard to be offensive in those armies at the moment. But uh, in general, the Mayans have better Imperial army, I would say. And now couple of trebs popping out for Viper here as well. I'm not sure where he's going with this Rams over to the left side. Uh, now he's kind of bringing him back towards his army. And Jordan going to start getting uh, a little bit more forward here with his army as well. As trebs start unpacking, going for this castle on the right side for, for Jordan. Parking just on the hill. Get a little extra but, damage. Well, and Jordan is just moving around his own trebs, not really attacking. Yeah, I'm um, not sure he's what the just, plan is here for Jordan. He's just running around, and he's gonna he's gonna lose this uh, gonna lose this castle. Uh, Jordan should uh, research the building upgrades so the building has more HP. Well, now he's got his own trebs unpacked. And he's just kind of firing at the army. Trying to hope to maybe pick off a unit or two here and there, but Siege Ram now finished also for Viper, and I think Viper's got his army and he's ready to go. I think Viper wants to take this fight now as he's running in with that army of Halberdiers pushing forward, plus those Siege Rams. He's trebbing down that second castle here, 
Uh, Jordan's gonna take out the Siege Workshop over here, just in front of that castle for, for Viper. But here come the Siege Workshops, trying to get right on top of these traps, and they can do a ton of damage when they get there, but it looks like they are gonna get repaired and stay alive for the moment. He's doing his best to try to use these Cap Archers to take out these Halberdiers with the help of the Castle Fire. It looks like, oh no, may have a, uh, lag Maybe spike fall. or something, or a pause, yeah. Uh, I mean, Viper's uh, lost his siege rams already here. Only got that one yeah, trap. Uh, Jordan needs uh, rams of his own. Yeah, and he should uh, maybe make the siege workshops on the left side of uh, Viper's base and trying to attack from uh, different sides and trying to hit the economy. Well, I, the plumes seem to be the, the big problem here for Jordan. Um, yeah, because Plummets is so so good unit in in this matchup. Okay, we are now back underway again, and you see one one trip's down for Jordan, but he's more or less dealt with everything but the plumes. He's he's just keeping his cab archers behind this castle, hoping they can do everything to keep these. Plume's at bay, and it's uh, he's lost basically everything other than his cab archers, the units that he's kind of kept behind this castle. Here comes a couple more siege rams coming forward for for Viper. Oh, he's going to get some good hits on this trap. Uh, the second trap is down. He very well may get the third trap. And he, he's only got like two villagers repairing this castle. Viper, wow, this... It's so tough for him to deal, for, for Jordan to deal with these plumes. You can see they're all just standing there, just firing over and over again with all the damage that they're doing. He's now got some hustlers trying to come in from the left side as well. Halberti is coming in to reinforce the army of Viper a little bit. Uh, but they're mostly dying to the Cav Archer fire. Jordan's done a good job keeping his Cav Archers alive as well through this process. Oh, we need, it looks like he uh, actually sniped that Treb down with his own Treb, did Jordan, and now his castle is safe. And yeah, Jordan's maybe uh, stabilize the situation as he starts to get his own siege rams into the uh, action here. Yeah, and Jordan was in trouble for uh, being there, but looks like he'll be fine because he's controlling the golds. Yeah, that's the other thing that, that we got. There's kind of a timer on Viper here. He, he's got to make progress to secure more golds here. I mean, Jordan can mine like 10 different golds right now that he, that he if he wanted to. Obviously, he doesn't need to. But the two golds that Viper's been mining for forever are, are close to running out here as uh, it's actually Jordan, the one that's going to be the aggressor coming forward with these siege rams. And he's now got all these hustlers that he's just throwing at these plumed archers. He's at about 200 pop here and he's happy to get these uh, kind of meat shield hustlers in front, even if they are kind of dying fairly quickly to these plumes, which are kind of standing just on that ridge on that hill. Three trebs going at it for Jordan here. All these heavy cav archers as well, and he's just playing it safe with them. Uh, Jordan just needs uh, more rams. He needs like 10 rams. Indeed. And it's it's, it's and Viper's got more rams at the moment. And uh, Jordan should uh, make more uh, military buildings in general. His uh, stables are too far away and too few. We can see that he hmm. has uh, 14k. I mean, 1,400 food, yeah, yeah, and he hey. cannot reproduce the Huzars in time. That's a good point. Viper trying to take this gold just to the right of the castle of Jordan, but it's, it's not going to happen for him. Um, Jordan may be getting a little careless with some of these Hussars as they run in. But I mean, I see, oh, he's, he's going to lose these trips too, I think. He's yeah, maybe he, got too greedy with those he trips. Definitely gonna lose. Oh, yes. All three of these traps are going to go down, and, and Viper just continuing to stay on this hill. He's, he's uh, just holding as long as he possibly can, but he, he needs to secure a gold here. Has to secure a gold here if he can. He's not making enough progress, I, I don't think, even if he's, he's maybe winning fights in, in small numbers, or maybe economically winning the fights, but he's, he's, he's running out of gold. There's only, what, 700 gold in that and 200 on the second one. He's, he's got about 900 gold left to mine. Yeah, and even Viper. So, uh, even so, that Viper is uh, killing more units. He's just losing eventually because he is going out of the goal. Wow, 
and I mean, he's, he's just been on that kind of ridge forever. But Jordan's been happy, I think, to just play the stalemate through that middle and kind of bleed Viper to death, knowing knowing that he's got all these golds that he can move on to. He can replenish his gold almost indefinitely, as long as he doesn't lose map control in the middle here. And Viper is at 72 gold now, 164 pop. Starting to get some of his castles trapped down too, as well. It's, it's been a re really great unit retention for him with his plumes. But he's just facing too many units. Jordan just in such a better situation economically, hey. He can he can just uh, throw away hussars at at these uh, plumes indefinitely. And, and uh, Jordan could do is just take someone back gold and I mean wood and wood villagers put them on gold and make paladins if he wanted. Indeed, so, uh, castle is down for Viper. Uh, he's he's down to two castles I think. Uh, only two castles left that I see. But once you run out of the gold, there's no uh, there's no difference because you cannot make the bonus <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That's true. He's trying to trap down this castle just built by uh, Jordan in front of the kind of gold at the north part of the desert here. Uh, but now he's getting these hussars right onto these traps of Viper. Oh, he's uh, he actually still may lose his castle. Maybe not. His traps are idle, by the way. His Jordan's traps just kind of sitting there. Oh, did he, did he run out of stone? I think he ran out of stone, so he's actually going to lose his castle. One oh, more yeah, hit from this trap. Does he have a market? I will check. He has a market. He should buy stone. Not too late now. But we can see that he really needs more stables, Jordan. Because we, can, we see him uh, a couple of times dropping down to 170 pop population and not being able to yeah I mean uh, he's, he's got the resources army. he sh that he should yes. just have kind of continuous flow he can just go up on the paladins we see he's uh, taking relics as well maybe trying to get a final engagement with this heavy cav archers against these plumes here although he maybe would have liked those rams to be out in front first but I mean, look at the resources he got. I guess it, he knows he can replace his army. Viper can't. Uh, one relic here for for Jordan. Two for Viper, but he's now not even mining gold. He can't mine gold anymore. He's gonna try to have to sneak some villagers somewhere. And now Jordan moving up onto the hill that he had that that the plumes had taken for so long, sitting there with this. Heavy cab archers, rams coming forward everywhere, trebs going off on these castles. Well, I guess they're going off in a siege workshop or something, I don't know. Uh, but Viper just, just backing away into his buildings. Doesn't seem like it's going to happen for him. He's he's moved over to, to the gold over on the uh, left side of the desert, but there's a knight waiting for him. And there it is, GG is called, and the series is now tied up. Jordan takes his home map, which was desert. Good job by him. Huns versus Mayans, always interesting to see non mirror and actually you know what Jordan actually killed more units I, th I thought I would have thought Viper would have killed more units I thought he would have killed a lot of those uh, hustlers but I guess Jordan also was sitting there picking off halbs left and right too uh, but yeah look at the disparity almost 7,000 more gold mined by Jordan not to mention all the food and etc etc so good job by, by Jordan there yeah. uh, funny that's it uh, Viper has a 